What is going on guys? Gray here today. I want to do some quick tips for the launch of Call of Duty Vanguard. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, one thing that I try to remember every year, even though I've played every Call of Duty since COD 2, is kind of pacing myself on the first couple of days, learning the maps. We have 20 total maps in game, 16 that will be kind of, you know, in your classic multiplayer style maps. Some of the other ones will be for Champion Hill uh, here on launch day. But pacing yourself, learning angles, learning where people like to hang out is a good thing. Not getting in too big of a hurry. Uh, the first couple hours you play so you kind of can learn how the game's going to play how it's going to feel because of course we all did play the beta but it still might feel a little bit different than the beta we're going to experience different maps than we did in the beta so it's a great idea to pace yourself uh, and kind of you know learn the maps learn routes that kind of thing and that will pay off in the end you if you're just running around like crazy unless you're an extremely talented player that can pick up on things quickly in game if you're like me uh, you're old and you're a little bit slower than you used to be. <laughs> you might uh, you need, need to take your time until you can kind of get the hang of what's going on. And then you can kind of pick up the pace and play kind of more of a, a faster traditional Call of Duty pace. Another thing is check your filters. There's tons of different ways that you can filter games within Call of Duty Vanguard. We have the classic 6v6 all the way up to a new 24v24 blitz mode. If the maps, you know, that you're playing on will allow 24v24, it might be a little less sometimes. It might be that, you know, 24 on 24 at times. But if you like more chaotic style gameplay, you know, change those filters so you'll have more players in your, you know, in your lobby. If you like that classic style 6v6 gameplay, make sure you have that filter on. So just check your filters and be sure, you know, that you have kind of what you want uh, set to play uh, when you hop in Call of Duty Vanguard. Also, they will have clan options in Vanguard. So you and your friends can make a clan and you actually earn bonuses. Uh, you earn XP boost and rewards. So invite your uh, friends, y'all create a clan and have a good time once the game does launch. Check your settings. Of course, I know a lot of people out there will have to try to remember what settings they used in the beta. And I'm sure a lot of the settings will change. We've noticed this over the last several years with Modern Warfare uh, 2019 and Cold War. Some of the settings we had in the beta were not the exact same as when the final game released. The UI looks different, all that stuff. So make sure you have your settings right. Make sure you try to get your settings back to where you were, you know, at during the beta, the things you were enjoying, the way you like to, you know, use your sensitivity and whatnot. So make sure you check those settings out before you hop into a match. Uh, I would recommend, personally for me, like I said, unless you're an extremely talented player, using lower kill streaks to begin with to kind of get the hang of the game, kind of get in your groove. And you can bump up those kill streaks and start using crazy things, of course, like flamethrowers and dogs and all that great stuff. But I always start off with lower streaks to begin with. So I can kind of get in that mode of how I want to play, kind of learn the maps. And then I can start calling in some lower tier streaks. And then when I get in my you know groove of learning the game, I can kind of bump that up and start running some of those higher uh, tier kill streak rewards. Of course, uh, learn one weapon at a time. That's always my recommendation for any shooter. That's what I always try to do. I try to unlock as much as I can for one weapon, learn that weapon, learn the mechanics of it, learn the recoil, and then kind of move on from there. That's the best way, in my opinion, on day one, instead of swapping weapons a lot, is try to unlock a lot of stuff for one weapon in Call of Duty and then kind of get the hang of it. And I always have better success, uh, at least for me, that uh, by doing it that way. And last but not least, try different perks. Of course, it's kind of like trying different weapons. You want to try different loadouts, try different builds, uh, try what kind of works for you. You know, you want to swap out your attachments, swap out your perks, but mainly just have a good time. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're excited about Call of Duty Vanguard. Of course, leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know when you're going to be able to play. I know it's local time midnight for us console players, so I'm going to have to wait till about 11 tonight before I get to play. I know some people in the world are going to get to play a little bit earlier than that, uh, depending on where you live. Of course, like I said, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.